Have you ever wondered what it's like to do videos and music? Shout out to JT, Josh, and Malik. Have you ever wondered of what being on a show feels like? Well, here's your chance to check out Q Radio 97.5. I didn't want to talk on you guys. Come on! Check it out. Only on YouTube and Facebook. Go to YouTube slash Poncho Blazing ATM or Joseph Holland. And go to BlazingEntertainment.com for exclusives. Snowman, Mylon. Snowman. Weekdays from 12 in the morning until 12 at night. Keep blazing, nation, and always have God in your life. Ladies and gentlemen, we're back on Q Radio 97.5. I am Poncho Blazing ATM, and we are back on the air. And uh, we was talking about Dad's uh, school year and how a school was back here back in the days and stuff. And uh, right before then, uh, I gotta ask you, uh, the brick wall back here, I've been noticing that uh, since we came on there and stuff. Uh, what is that about? You working or something? Yeah, I was rebricking my fireplace and it was looking old and I was kindly trying to rebrick it and get it get it looking a little better and mm -hmm. stuff like that. And I where I took masonry stuff and my work put my trade to a little bit of work and put it to work. Okay, not right then. Uh, there's nothing wrong with rebuilding your house and stuff, man, definitely. Yeah, say. And keep in mind folks that this is a PG a show, key radio, but uh we'll try to cle uh, keep it as clean as possible. So I just wanted to let you know that. Back to the music again. Well, first of all, before we start the music, I want to plug it up right there. Yep, most definitely you gotta have you. That's right, without music, we wouldn't even I don't know how he'd last. Because the new generation, you have to have music. Alright, this is the song called Comes to the Man by Brother Josh Dool. Alright, now, uh, before we left the air, we were talking about your uh, school and stuff. Now, I gotta ask you, why did you leave school to work in the Tomlands? Well, at that time, it, uh, I thought I knowed everything, and I was looking at the money part instead of the school part. I was looking at the money because the money was good back. The money was good, and the cost of living wasn't that high back then. And money was real, money was pretty good, and I was looking at the money deal instead of my education. I wish I'd went on to school and got a better education, but mm -hmm. God's still been good to me, and, although. You know, I like the coal mines real good. Mm, yeah. And you see a lot of people nowadays, uh, instead of, as soon as they get out of high school, they move and transfer to a different a college or they either start working and stuff. And to me, I was going to, uh, that's a, uh, I think that's, uh, in my opinion, that's one of the biggest mistakes. And I, as soon as I left high school and stuff, I went straight on to college at Southeast Community. Well, uh, next May, I'll be done uh, with my basics and stuff, and I'll be transferred. I'm not for sure what I'm going to transfer to, but we'll find that out real soon before you know it, though. So. Okay, now, um, I gotta ask you, back then, what was life uh, like in the mountains when you was a young man? It was hard growing up in, in uh, where we grew up in the mountains, and especially around here, too, and in this Lynch and Benamer, it was really hard. It was, it was, it was just tough back then. Mm -hmm. And the things were hard and then you no know, cost of li I mean it, it, it was just hard for mm -hmm. growing up back then. Mm -hmm. Oh definitely uh, okay now did you have any siblings? That means brothers or sisters growing up. Yeah we uh, had a big family. We there was nine of us. I mean, it was four boys and, and five girls. And I was the oldest son, the oldest boy in, in the in the family. Mm -hmm. And uh, all the girls were over except one. Okay, all right. Okay. All right. 
uh, who, uh, let me just ask you this. Who is, who would be, who is your favorite brother or sister? Who? Well, it? you don't have, I don't guess you can have a favorite one. Just all of them, you, you gotta like them all or love them all. That's about the same. But, uh, I guess, sometimes I guess we have a picks and chooses. <laughs> I guess, um, I hope and Dave and, well, all of them, uh, all of them are good. All, you know, you just can't, you just can't pick one out. Mm -hmm. You gotta love them all. Oh, okay, no, I can definitely hear that. Okay, how did, uh, how did you, okay, let me ask you this. How long did you work in the coal mines, and what was the best part about being in coal mines? Well, I started in the coal mine, and come out of, just come out of, uh, I started going to first year of high school and, and didn't even go to first year of high school and, and I was 17 then and uh, went straight into the coal mine. I was just, I was, I think I was uh, 17, almost, I was almost 18 when I started the coal mine. I, uh, we, at that time, we, you're supposed to be 18 when you start in the coal mine, but I kind of lied about my age and, mm -hmm. and said I was 18 and I started the coal mine when I was 17 years old. And I worked 30 years in the coal mines, 30 years old, in the underground in the coal mines. There was a bit of it was underground. Underground oh, coal, coal, underground coal mine. Oh, well. And where was, uh, what county did you work in coal mines there? Coffee? Well, I first started working in the coal mine in, in, uh, in Letcher County. Oh, in the old truck mines, the old truck mines, okay. hand loading coal, okay. and, then I, and then after that I worked about three months there and then I started working for, got a mine, job in the union mine for Bethlehem Steel in Jenkins, over around Jenkins and Pike County, so I worked there about, I worked there in 1984, and then they got laid off there in 1984, and didn't stay laid off long, but went right back to, uh, Another job in another coal mine. It wasn't Union though, but right back in another coal mine. Okay, alright, okay. I must say that in coal mines, it must mean something uh, down here in the Appalachians Mountains. Yeah, coal mining, coal mining is about the, is a, is about the best paying job. Well, it is a best paying job running in, in, in this area. Coal mining is. I was making about thirty-five, about thirty-seven, twenty-five to thirty-seven dollars an hour. Now, when I started, he's only making forty dollars. He's making forty dollars a day when I started in the coal mine. Forty dollars a day, hand loading coal. Oh, wow. And then when I quit, uh, got sick and had to come out. Mm -hmm. I think I was making about eighteen dollars an hour. Okay. And what uh, time did you uh, stop working in the coal mine? I think I'm. I had to come out of the coal mines in, in 2003. Because mm -hmm. uh, I remember at that time, uh, well, Lee was all working and stuff, and it was that year, 2003, where we really struggled financially and stuff, so, mm -hmm. due to your uh, sickness and stuff in the coal mines, and had to come out. Yeah, it was kind of hard for about 18 months, and, mm -hmm. to about for a while. Mm -hmm. Not having nothing, nothing, no, hardly no money coming in. And, mm -hmm. And just try to make ends meet the best way you could until we got on Social Security. Started, until we started drawing Social Security. Mm -hmm. It was kind of hard. It was really hard. Oh, and you have to pretty much have food stamps in the Social Security nowadays because uh, right now this economy and stuff is real tough. You know? Yeah, it's really hard now. It's days and time, it sure is. <laughs> and if I'm not mistaken, uh, Letcher County, uh, you said you attended school uh, there too, much County? In Letcher County, Gordon, Kentucky. Oh, Gordon, Kentucky. Okay. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to clarify that up and uh, uh, bring that up to the day and stuff, too, if I'm not mistaken. Wow. I gotta ask you, uh, what is your favorite vehicle of all time? It could be a car, a truck, SUV. Probably a blazer I had. I bought a new blazer back in uh, 1985. Uh, 1985 blazer. I bought it from Cardinal Chevrolet. Uh, that's, I think that's probably the, one of my favorite ones I had. Okay, and is that your first car that you ever had? No, we. The first car I had, uh, we, me, and my, me and my brother bought it. Paid forty dollars for it. We go back thing forever. No Dodge Cornette. Paid forty forty dollars for a car. Wow. And now you couldn't buy a car for forty dollars. 
<laughs> uh, I would have loved to been back in the old days, buying forty dollars for a car, uh, ten dollars for <laughs> gas and stuff like that. For mm. tell, man. It was, <laughs> those were the times out there, man. Well, let me ask you this: Do you attend church? And if so, where do you go to church? Right now, I go to Mount Sinai Baptist Church in Lynch. I've been going there about six, six or more seven years at Mount Sinai in Lynch. And before that, I went to Macedonia Baptist Church in Cumberland, Kentucky. That's, that's where I joined first joined the church after Macedonia Baptist Church in, in, uh, in Cumberland, Kentucky. Oh, okay. And that's where Robert My pastor was Reverend Robert Henry over at, at, at Mount Sinai, at Macedonia Baptist Church in, in Cumberland. Mm -hmm. Pastor Ronnie Reverend Hampton mm -hmm. at Mount Sinai. Okay, Mount Sinai. And did you, uh, when did you, uh, have you uh, done any obligations at the church, deacon, preaching, singing? What? Well, I first become a deacon in, uh, I think I first become a deacon in 1999. I know, I'm sorry, 19, I'm sorry, let me back up, I'm sorry, not 1999. See how I'm getting old and losing my mind, amen. <laughs> but, uh, no, it was, uh, 19, I've uh, become a deacon in 19, and 19, 90, 1991. Oh, okay, 1991. Okay. Instead of 99, I'm sorry, 1991. Okay, all right. And stayed a deacon for several years, and then God called me to preach. Hmm. And pastor the church for a while over in Virginia for a while. I say that must have been a good job uh, right there. Have right? a good experience. Mm-hmm. Building my folks a good experience. Uh, he never pastored the church before. Oh yes, definitely. Yeah. It's a uh, it's it takes faith, man, to step out on your calls and stuff as far as preaching goes. Yeah, that's true. Mm-hmm. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna take a final commercial break right fast. Um, we'll be right back on Q Radio 97.5. And we'll talk about uh, yesterday's culture and the difference between yesterday's culture and today's culture. Stay tuned, folks. Q Radio 97.5. 